Hey, how's it going folks? E.T. here with another iMovie tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to show you how to crop an image or video before dragging it into your project. And this will allow you to get the custom sizing that you want. So let's start with an image first. I have an image here of the front of a PlayStation 2. And I kind of want to zoom in on the iLink and the USB ports here. So what you're going to do is, while the media is in your media library, your iMovie library here, under My Media, go ahead and go to the cropping tool here. Click on that. And then click on this crop button right here. What this is going to do is going to give you the tools to allow you to kind of crop into where you'd like in your video or your image. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Get it to where we want it to be. And then you'll just hit the check mark or click anywhere else. But I'll just hit this check mark. And now you have your cropped image. So you can go ahead and drag that into your timeline and shorten it to however long as you need it to be. But now in its current state, it's not what I want it to be. It's, it's uh, overlapping my video and it's actually got a Ken Burns effect on it. So let's get rid of that. With it selected, go over to your cropping tool again and select fit. And now go back to this layering tool right here, your settings there, and go to picture and a picture. Now it's kind of the way I want it to be. It's a separate image that I have cropped into the way I want it to be. And you can put that wherever you'd like it to be. You can add a border to it if you want. Let's add a yellow border. Why not? And a drop shadow for, for fun. Now let's put it on the right side here. Okay. So now let's go ahead and have a look here. And there we go. It's cropped in to exactly where we need it to be. And again, if you do it this way, you have to crop in before you bring it to the timeline to get that fine detail of control. If you want to bring it back, your original image to where it was, click on it here. Make sure you're on the cropping tool and just hit reset all and it's back to normal. Okay, let me go ahead and delete this now. Let's do it with video. I'll just find a random video up here. Why not? Uh, select on it here. Again, go to your cropping tool, same thing. Hit that crop button. Your tools are gonna be shown here. And this time, let's just focus on the, the dryer itself here, the circle area. Uh, because it's iMovie, we do have some limitations onto what we can actually do. In Final Cut Pro and DaVinci Resolve, we have a lot more control of what we can actually do since they're pro-level editing apps. Okay, once we're finished here, hit that check mark. And now let's drag this down into our timeline here. Let me turn down the sound so it doesn't interrupt us. And I'm going to shorten this. Let's just do that much. Okay, again, we're not in picture-in-picture -picture mode yet. So what we'll have to do is highlight it here. Go to our picture in a picture mode, and that way we have our full crop showing up. And let me go ahead and hit play. And I want to put a border on it, at least a black one. Or so. now, let's put a white one on this time. And a little drop shadow. Why not? Let's put it on the right side again. And let's have a little look. So there it goes. That's how you crop in on videos or images to more higher detail than you could if you had it in the timeline. So you got to do your cropping before in the media pool here and then drag it into the timeline. And again, to revert, just select the clip, make sure you're on the cropping tool and just hit reset all and it comes back to normal. But your clip is the way it was. So you can have the best of both worlds. Alrighty, I think that's it for today's tutorial. We'll talk to you next time. Peace and aloha.